Hey, what's up you guys? It's Chunky here, back with another video. So, a lot of people have been asking me for the whole um, Fashion Nova video. And I'm like, shit, I know I promised you guys. If you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? I'm Chunky. Um, I'm a YouTuber. I got 100,000, over 100,000 subscribers here on this channel. Um, I do get like affiliated with some companies. So I'm going to be just talking about um, a company that I was affiliated affiliated with if y'all don't know what Fashion Nova is where have you been Maybe some people don't know what Fashion Nova is but it, it's a fashion brand um I really like it it's uh I still buy from there there's I have I'm not trying to talk bad on Fashion Nova whatsoever I love Fashion Nova I'm wearing Fashion Nova right now um you know just rolling on into it not wasting any time um, I'm going to tell you guys just a story time of why I no longer work with them. So I was affiliated with them. I had affiliate code. Um, I forgot what my code was. I think it was Chunky or it was Funky 10. I'm not sure. But I had affiliated code with them. And uh, I think it gave you like a percent off. So um, I made no money from the affiliate code. It wasn't about money. Um I don't know if other YouTubers or other um, people that work on social media, when they're affiliated with them, I don't know if they make money off of it. I never was told that I was going to make money off of it. I just told that I was going to get free free clothes. So I was happy about that. I've all, I was really happy about it because I've always wore the brand. I've always liked the brand. I've always... Like, I really, really fell in love with it because they go all the way up to a size 3X. Um, and I was just always looking for cute clothes. I love to dress cute, even though I'm chunky and funky, you know, always keeping it funky. Not funky like this, but funky like this, if you know what I mean? So, um, I just love their clothes and I love that they, you know, I fluctuate in weight. Sometimes I'm an extra large, sometimes I'm a large, sometimes... I'm an XX large. Um, at one point, I was wearing a 3X, but I'm now down to you know my weight, my my weight, my weight, my weight just fluctuates. So I was like super excited when they reached out to me and they wanted me to be. I was like excited, like I think I think I even shed a tear because I was so excited about working with them. So, um you know uh when they told me the logistics of what they wanted me to do i was like okay you know what i mean i've seen a lot of people that work with the brand um they're always posting pictures they're always on top of their game posting pictures they get their i guess they get their stuff in they get their free stuff they post a picture they get their free stuff they post a picture and i was just um like okay I was excited because I wear their clothes I'm like damn I'm gonna be getting free clothes all right you know um so they told me that I would get three outfits and I was like three outfits oh like I was a little like a little bummed out like damn like because I see a lot of other youtubers um getting like $500 worth of clothes like getting like so so many clothes so and I and I knew it wasn't because of how many subscribers I had because I had seen other YouTubers um, with the same amount, like lower subscribers than me, getting like, oh, $500 worth of, of um, Fashion Nova and all this stuff. So I'm like, thinking like, oh, I'm finna get me, you know, a wardrobe. Um, but I didn't, but it's okay, you know, I'm like, okay, it's alright, you know, I gotta be grateful. Like, God is good, you know, I'm just blessed to even, for them to even acknowledge me because they're really big, you know, they get out there, they're really good at their promotions, and for them to even acknowledge me is, like, was a blessing to me. Um, so they asked me, you know, I would get three outfits, and I guess they assigned me somebody that would make sure that I post the outfits every time I post, and, um, well, every time I get my outfits. So I started kind of within that time it really sucked because when within that time that I had um gotten asked to work with Fashion Nova um I was going through a lot of shit like I really like it was just like the you know my universe just shifted you know what I mean like I really can't go into detail really what was going on in my life 
um because i don't want to because it's just too much it's too emotional it's too just too much just know that i was going through a lot so you know things had happened you know what i what, what i could say something was going on in my relationship and i was going through a hard time and i didn't know like i was really just in my head about how life was gonna like how my life was gonna go and how things how my life was gonna change and you know everybody just has those moments in life whether it be somebody die whether it be somebody moves whether it be somebody comes back whether it be you know just things happen in life where your whole mentality your whole mind is just shifted your whole world is shifted your whole life is shifted so i was really trying to stay focused you know i'm such an emotional person i'm a pisces so i'm such an emotion emotional person and you know i could really get lost in my emotions and lost in what things are you know trying to sort myself out you know so when this hit me i was just trying to get my life together so you know it was kind of like a job it was like a job like your job is to get these clothes get good pictures out report it to you know report it to them and then get your next box and get your next you know well get your next package and it was like a cycle right and i kind of started to think like oh my god like because they kept messaging me like oh did you post the pictures yet did you did you get your outfits like you know i haven't got a picture from you like and i'm just like started to get a little bit overwhelmed with worrying about what do I got to do you know um what do I got to do for you know basically this has become something like a like a job you know YouTube and um you know working with affiliates and stuff like that because it'll also look good on me to you know for other companies if other companies want to work with me it's also going to look good on me that I'm affiliated with um Fashion Nova you know so I felt like a big pressure like I got to get good um pictures so um i did my first batch of pictures and i thought they were good but then i was kind of like doubting myself because i was looking at other pictures and i'm like uh oh, like maybe i need to get a little bit more natural you know looking pictures and so i got my second batch of clothes and i i just kind of started thinking like man i'm gonna have to be doing this like all the time and it just was just like I don't know it just like kind of felt started to feel overwhelming for me but I think it was just because of everything that I was going through and you know I was just going through a lot of stuff within that time um within that time I also had got another job and invited to be affiliated with another company that flew me out to Vegas and you know um it was um another brand it was my shape light bowl and i was doing you know um something for them to get liposuction and stuff like that so that was like a great opportunity for me and at the time i was going through this at home i felt like wow well, you know i just it's gonna be great for me because i'm gonna be able to get away like i'm gonna be able to get away and it's gonna help me with my weight it really did help me lose weight which you know that's a whole other story a whole nother thing i could get into um about my liposuction i did have liposuction but what's crazy is how i was pregnant at the same time like i got back home from this little vacation that i was only gone for like less than a week and when i got home i found out i was pregnant and i had just got liposuction and it was a mess it was crazy like you know a lot of things were going on in my life where i also was not feeling well i was very depressed at the time i was not feeling well because i was having issues with my menstrual cycle you know we're all adults here let's not make it you know like ew 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 every woman gets a menstrual cycle sometimes things happen where things get involved with your menstrual cycle and um at that time i was feeling not great i was depressed and my um hormone levels were all out of whack because i was not getting my menstrual cycle like me i didn't get my menstrual cycle like for three months then i got it then i didn't get it for another three months and i didn't know what was going on i've never had problems with my menstrual cycle so that was really messing with my mental as well so that like had to do a lot with me not being consistent like 
kind of dropping the ball on Fashion Nova, like kind of, you know, and I, and I regret it. I feel bad and I tried to, well, let's get back to that. So, you know, that kind of, all that kind of led to me, um, really dropping the ball because I was depressed because I was going through this and I was going through that and, um, you know, not being okay physically in my body being honestly sick i ended up going to the hospital i ended up you know from pain in my stomach then i ended up following with my doctor they did me a pregnancy test this was before i left for the lipo and i you know they said i was not pregnant they said it could be due to my weight they wanted me to eat healthier they wanted me to do this and that and which i've always um drink a lot of water they were saying drink drink a lot of water they wanted to do further testing they wanted to try to get me on some medication to get my period started so that I could start feeling regular because when you don't start your period your your um what is it called your your hormone levels are not okay like you're just not you just don't feel like yourself I, I felt very I did not feel good my stomach was very bloated that's why I thought I was pregnant because my stomach was very bloated I looked pregnant and I wasn't um I thought maybe like oh my god like and this whole lipo thing had, could have not come at a better time I really thought like I really thanked god like when I got this opportunity to do this I was like thank you thank you god like I was praying and crying and so depressed that I was just thankful to God that he sent this to me because it did eventually help me. I don't know. I ended up, you know, losing weight, but at the same time I was pregnant. So very weird. So because I was not getting my period, but then I took a pregnancy test um, and the pregnancy tests were coming out negative. I didn't think I was pregnant I thought something else was wrong with me but I ultimately ended up being pregnant so all of this you know my life struggles me not getting my period also at the same time um, going to do this project with this company for a lipo section everything at the same time I just honestly dropped the ball I just dropped the ball on Fashion Nova and um i i had emailed them they had emailed me back because they were checking you know they were consistently checking to see if i was posting um what they sent me so if they're going to be sending you stuff girl you got to be posting so i was just like i messaged them and i told them look like i just got liposuction and they kind of understood they said we've seen that you got liposuction you know they were keeping tabs on me and they were like, um, you know, when you feel better, please post. I'm like, for sure. <sighs> then I find out I'm pregnant. So now they're messaging me and I'm like trying to deal with this, trying to deal with that, trying to figure out, you know, how to tell my family, how to tell my kids, how, what am I going to do? Like, how am I going to fit this in my life? I was very, 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 very stressed out. Very just almost an outer body experience like I was just a vessel and you know I was happy about what had happened to me but now I'm like can I even be happy because I'm pregnant how can I even enjoy what you know just happened to me when because I thought my life was like I thought like I was gonna feel a lot better with losing weight and I thought I was gonna feel a lot better with this opportunity having some time away having to rest and now I'm pregnant it was just so crazy for me so then now I'm kind of like you know not even checking my emails so when I finally check my emails at this point I'm already like five months pregnant almost six months and I'm like oh my god like I'm pregnant so I I I I, I um you know emailed my I guess my worker for you know fa that was affiliated with Fashion Nova that was keeping tabs on me that was emailing me I expressed to her I'm, I'm pregnant and this and that <sighs> come to find out I know this all sounds crazy it all sounds like excuses but how could you make this an excuse it all played out like it all is absolutely positively no doubt people were seeing that things were wrong with me people were seeing subliminals people you know 
were seen and noticing that I was pregnant, people seeing that I had liposuction, it was all out there for people to see, you know what I mean? So at the same time, I'm like, I do not want to like drop the ball on Fashion Nova. Like I was so scared and so nervous that I was going to like lose this opportunity. So the, the person that I was talking to kind of made me feel comfortable, kind of made me feel like, okay, I understand. I know what's going on. Like, don't worry. So then, um, come to find out my blood pressure is very high. So I, I'm, I'm now in a high risk pregnancy. I was in and out of the hospital so many times. I had to stay there weeks on end because I could go into, um, what's it called? They would have to give me, basically they were giving me medication to keep my blood pressure high so I would not go into preeclampsia. So I wouldn't have the baby early or they wouldn't have to take him out too early because he was still little. So they were trying to keep me healthy so that I could stay pregnant so that the baby could come out healthy and you know all of this and all of that so i'm like everything's happening so fast like it's like i go to sleep i wake up and something new was happening during that period so and at the same time i'm all the, the whole time thinking in the back of my head like i'm gonna lose this opportunity to work with fashion nova like i just knew it you know so finally when everything um you know, I have the baby, and after I have the baby, I expressed to them I had the baby, and they were saying, they told me congratulations. I think, if I don't recall, I think they did. And I expressed to them, once I feel better, I'm going to post what I have. Um, ultimately, um, after I had the baby, the stuff that I had didn't fit me anymore. Like, the stuff that I had ordered that I had not posted didn't even fit me anymore. So I was just like, oh, well, what do I do? Like post these clothes that don't really fit me anymore because I've had the, I had the lipo and I lost weight. I lost weight during my pregnancy and I lost weight after my pregnancy. So they just no longer fit me. Like I was, I think, I believe that um, the clothes were a 2X and I was wearing an extra large. So they were significantly bigger for, bigger than me. So I emailed Fashion Nova after that and I kind of um, let them know like what was going on. And no one was getting back to me. I was messaging them. They were getting back to me on Instagram and all that stuff. And um, they were, someone did email me back and told me to email somebody else. Kind of just, you know, kind of just give me the runaround. And I don't know if it was purposely, um, but then I get an email back from somebody and say, saying like, basically like, we no longer need you. We have, we are already booked with the, like uh, other people that we are, you know, sponsoring that are working with us. So we just, you know, we're no longer working with you. And when we have space, we'll let you know. So I was so sad. I was like really sad and I was like, oh my God. I love you. I love you, Vaginova. Like, I felt so bad. And, um, you know, my life is really situated now, even though, like, I have a new baby and stuff like that. I'm able to really sit down and work on things. And, you know, I know I would be able to, now that I'm home and stuff like that, I know I would be able to be a great representative. I feel like I'm a, still a great representative for them. I still always shout them out. I still always say, even though I'm not affiliated with them, um, pe because people always ask me, like ultimately the reason why I'm making this video is because people always ask me, oh, do you have a code for Fashion Nova? Like, oh, do you work with them? Like, what's your code? Because I'm always shouting them out even though I don't work with them. I still shout them out. I still tag them. Uh, I still buy, like, endless billions and trillions amounts of dollars from them because I love their clothes. Like, you know what I mean? Whether I'm gaining weight or whether I'm losing weight, they're going to have my size. They're going to have something cute for me to wear. And they go with the trends. And I just like them. I know some people don't like them. I know some people want to act emo and shit. Ugh, fashion Nova. But I love them. I'm always going to still love them. I still love you, Fashion Nova. Even if I never work with you again, thank you for the opportunity that you gave me. Um, I'm not a bitter Betty. Uh, I'm not going to be a bitter Betty. I love you guys. And I hope to get... 
I hope to get the opportunity to work with y'all again. But if I don't, it's okay because I'm still going to buy clothes from you because I still love you. Uh, but with that being said, that's my Fashion Nova story because I was doing a Fashion Nova haul. And I told you guys because people were asking me, like, are you affiliated with them? And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm no longer affiliated with them because I did announce it on my Instagram that I was affiliated with them. And I have a code and I was really, you know, pushing my pictures and pushing my code. And now I no longer do so. So people were like, what's going on there? And I'm like, well, you know, I kind of dropped the ball. You know, it's kind of my fault. Um, and, and I know there's like endless amounts of people that, you know, are beautiful and that they would have, like, would have represent them. So let those beauties have a shot. And with that being said, that's my story. I love you guys. Stay chunky because chunky is beautiful. Peace out.